Well, whether they focus on health, education, or entertainment, creators of wearable technology are finding Greater Boston a good fit. Innovation taking place here could change the way people live and play around the world. And WBZ's Chris McKinnon takes a closer look at some of these new devices. A pair of smart eyewear. These might look like sunglasses, but they're so much more. A human becomes a superhuman. They're called Solos and are being touted as the most sophisticated smart eyewear ever. That's the key. You can have the whole cell phone on your head without people knowing it. I can see everything, and then there's a little tiny screen right there. Tiny screen is an understatement. Look at it sitting next to this quarter. Hi, I'm at the restaurant. This promotional video dramatizes how the image appears. And when I look over briefly, I can see it just off center. It's colorful. Big display. The more you wear it, the more invisible it becomes, and the information is there when you need it. The glasses connect to a cell phone via Bluetooth. Solos are expected to be on the market this summer for about $400. They'll initially be marketed to elite athletes. It will get more functional, smaller, lighter, last long, longer, and this is just the beginning of the journey. So right now, I'm flexing my hand uh, right on my forearm. You're seeing muscle activity. It's all about biometric sensors, making them thinner, smaller, and more pliable. At MC10 in Lexington, click on the sensor. You can actually capture real-world data as people go about their lives every single day. A fraction of a human hair in, in thickness. This sensor is even smaller and thinner. It's called My UV Patch. But it can collect the amount of ultraviolet light exposure um, to the sun uh, and relay that information to the, the user. The UV Patch will be marketed by L'Oreal and is expected to be at cosmetic counters this summer. Green light. Future innovations are in the works at local universities, like this interactive game developed at Worcester Polytechnic Institute. Children can yeah. learn in motion and having fun so uh, that when they learn mathematics, they make positive associations to the idea of math. It's meant to teach third graders geometry using smartwatches. Undergraduates have been testing it. It offers a wide variety of ways to get kids more involved with what they're learning. I pop these on. And, and for the rest of us, wearable technology is giving us a new way to see the world. And this is very cool. Chris McKinnon, WBZ News.